Hello everyone, so we have finally reached Chomriri, the beautiful lake in Ladakh, situated at 4500 meters and I can definitely bet that they can be nothing more beautiful than this. Now this video is our very first attempt at documenting the world's highest trail run, situated at 4500 meters and it spreads along 100 kilometers in the Indian Himalayas. The trail run starts from Pang, ends in Karzok via Chomriri. So this trail run has been all about managing the symptoms of acute mountain sickness, crossing one of the most coldest water streams and even struggling while navigation at night on these landscapes and last but not the least, we even had to sleep in a cave. September 18th, 12.57 am, we had decided that we'll start at around 1. It is the team, uh, I'm with Mr. Arun, good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> and I'm here with Sumit. Good morning all. I'm feeling good, light headache, very light. Very light. But yes. Sorted. Yeah. I'm feeling enthusiastic. <laughs> I have a little headache. But I guess the enthusiasm will take away the headache. <laughs> wind, 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 no wind. No wind. This is what the board reads. It reads Pang 15,280 feet. Exactly at 102. We are beginning this beautiful quick trail run. Hello. So now it's 1.5 km and we have covered 2.6 km This is our first trail running project which is 100% self-supported and self-navigated So this is what we had done in the recce We came and uh, had, we had marked these points, these flags from where we can cross the river We also kept some uh, physical landmarks from where the stream is the gentlest so that we can nicely hop across Whatever we need is in our backpacks. Everybody is carrying 10 to 15 liters of trail running backpack. So basically the biggest challenge is not the distance, it's not the elevation. It's the altitude on which we are running. It's a constant 100 kilometers oh. at 15,000 feet. Oh. Oh. Can't feel the fingers. <laughs> Geology. So as per Garmin, we have done 10k uh, as per Koros we are almost almost at 10k uh, and I had kept Sunto in this endurance mode to save up battery but I think it is eating up the distance this is stuck at 7.39 since the last 10 minutes so maybe I'll just stop it all good yes all good how are you feeling I have slight headache but I'm trying to breathe heavily <laughs> Yeah. Hope I will be fine. Uh, so the time is 5:15 uh, a.m. and uh, can finally see the horizon. Done. Oh. The only thing that I don't need to worry about on this trail is that there's plenty of water. <laughs> Beautiful landscape. <laughs> Finally bright sunny landscape guys but uh, actually missed out on the trail at one point to avoid a climb to Thilakungla I took a route which was much more gradual but this actually proved to be much much longer yeah I'm trying my best to maintain the pace let's see Hello. I know you, Mono. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Yesterday was damn cold, man. Like huh? night. Very cold night. Like you know, it's full of work glass. And, correct, uh, correct, correct, correct. Ice. Yeah, ice. Good one. Good, good, good. Yeah. That side weather is very bad. Okay, Karzok side. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, very bad. Okay, okay. We struggle for three days. Oh man. Heavy wind, rain. We saw a lot of wolves. Uh huh. Okay, okay, uh, whole okay. night I was keeping knife on patrol near my hand. Ah. It was full on howling. Take so happy bye. seeing you hiking all yeah. by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Bye. Hello, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. Yeah. And this is the terrain actually where we make up for the lost pace. Big wide beautiful landscape. Headache. Acclimatize, acclimatize and then do hikes above 4000. Because we are now in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> nowhere at all. We do it together. 
doesn't matter little more extra time and that's all chalo don't sleep oi hmm chalo this is sign of ams na no? yeah huh yeah what to do stay awake मुझे लग रहा है ये हेडेक ठीक नहीं होगा इतना उधर जाना और रिस्की है फिर क्या करो चल जाते क्योंकि हेडेक ठीक नहीं हो रहा धूप मुझे लगा धूप निकलेगी तो ठीक हो जाएगा धूप से तो बस हो जाएगा इट्स एम्प्टी एवरीबॉडी हैज gone to grace the cattle we have a little one in here hello nicely protected so we are dropping sumit behind <laughs> we have a shelter here and then there is another shelter there so the task for sumit is that he'll try and convince these people that he could stay here for the night i'm not feeling well that's why i'm dropping now yeah it's not good to push in mountains yeah health is always the priority yeah so okay guys all the best thank you thank you thank you see you tomorrow in karzok theek hai bye 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 take care we have uh, 60 kilometers to do time is 1:30 pm and i sort of left my phone with sumit because uh, that's where the trail is i anyhow can still reach karzok without using my phone because i've been on this trail last year both of us me and arun we feel good enough we feel good physically and mentally so it's better that we push and the person who is not able to push he should be given some rest and recovery and then once his body is ready to take the beating he can start again tomorrow definitely there was no such intention to leave your teammate behind but i think he is uh, capable enough to respect such decisions because when i plan such hikes and there are friends who are fit enough to join we always say every man for himself no matter what so if somebody is fast he or she would keep going and the person who is not able to cope up will take his or her own responsibility and i think sumit was in good shape to do so and that's the only reason we sort of uh, asked him to stay behind 45 kilometers done 55 more to go so we are using uh, synergy as our electrolyte each of us was carrying 8 to 10 sachets for this 100k run very very important super crucial here we are manichandla this is last year 3:37 pm guys Mm. and we have done some 52 kilometers so manichan last sort of marks the midpoint of this 100 kilometer long trail walking here through the boulder field of manichan la that's a rabbit wild one You can see a lot of kiangs in this landscape. Tired. Time is 6:30 p.m. and uh, we have done some 64 kilometers uh run is a little bit hectic now yeah 
because it's dark and we are super exhausted yes we are some 30 kilometers away from karzok which uh, basically means that uh, it will take us uh, another 5 to 6 hours to reach karzok and we'll reach there at a very odd time around 2 3 am so what we have done is we have uh, found a nice little cave for ourselves and since we were not carrying our camping gear this is the one that cuts the wind nicely so we can actually sleep here for some time maybe for an hour into like a power nap so beautiful beautiful night sky out there uh, 3:45 am we tried our best to sleep it was mr ravan's first time inside a cave <laughs> Yeah, so we sort of started at 4:30 a.m., but the temperature was very low and it was super windy. So we came to this another cave. Uh, spent another two hours here, and it is 6:30 now. Still very very cold. Just waiting for some sunlight. You can get an idea of the temperature. Everything here is quite frozen. So cold, so cold. Ah. Crossing uh, Pitsepu one more time. Uh, I think this would be the last trip for my shoe. It's gone now, close to a thousand kilometers. हमने सुबह चार बजे सोचा कि रिवर क्रॉस करते हैं उठ के, but बहुत ठंडी हवा चल रही थी. फिर छः बजे अटैम्प्ट किया हमने देखा कि आइस जमा हुआ है रिवर के किनारे पे फिर कोई ऑप्शन नहीं था सनसेट सनराइज का वेट किया सिक्स थर्टी तक फिर क्रॉस की रिवर और ना ठंडा पानी मैंने कभी फील नहीं किया आज तक पैर ऐसे लग रहे थे कि कुछ है ही नहीं लोअर बॉडी नीज के नीचे कुछ फील नहीं हो रहा था बहुत ठंडा था बहुत ज़्यादा और हवा चल रही थी उसके साथ तो वो और ज़्यादा ठंडा फील हो रहा था बट ठीक है करने के बाद अभी मैं आ, पहली बार सोमरी लेक देख रहा हूँ बहुत खुशी हो रही है मुझे बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है मैंने इमेजिन भी नहीं किया था कि इतना बड़ा लेक होता है कोई और ब्लू कलर वी कैन सी द्यूटिफुल सिक्स थाउजेंड मीटर पीक्स ऑफ लंग सर एंड चंग सर कांगरी दीज टू नॉट अलाउड टू क्लाइम दैम नाउ and very soon we'll go close to the lake this ridge is of the 6000 meter peak called karzok kangri at the base of which karzok village is there oh man finally finally at the lake this is my third time here in the last two years
this is what we meant when we said running the high flats. हम अभी दौड़ रहे हैं सोमरूरी लेक के अलॉन्ग ट्रेल पर जो कि 4600 मीटर एल्टीट्यूड पर है हम इजीली ब्रीथ कर पा रहे हैं इजीली बात कर पा रहे हैं सो ब्रीदिंग इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्रू आउट द डेली लाइफ स्टाइल गुड ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक्स गुड एक्लोमेटाइजेशन हेल्प्स यू एक्चुअली इन्जॉय दिस लैंडस्केप्स वी आर ऑन आर एटी एथ किलोमीटर मार्क सो ट्वेंटी मोर टू गो bad news so i think i'll have to walk slowly up till karzok i've got some rashes in my butt cheeks uh generally doesn't happen but i guess this was too much of a distance uh, now these rashes are giving me a very very hard time I have moisturizer with me I'm applying it but I think the only way is to stop but I still have some 8 kilometers to go ah uh, you can see the reflection of the beautiful Karzok Kangri in the waters of Chomoriri at 4500 meters amazing yeah so finally we got some uh, drinking water this is the mento kangri peaks and you can see that the east facing slopes have good amount of snow and uh, therefore we have a water stream the last uh, time when we had water was yesterday 5 pm the firsefu river stream did not had clean water because we started hiking from there early morning so maybe during the day time when the glacial water melts the water becomes cleaner and similarly even at night you will see that the bigger rivers the water of those rivers is not portable i can't take my eyes off these beautiful reflections Yeah, so here we are at the 99th kilometer. We see the full expanse of Chomoriri, and now Karzok is some uh, two kilometers away. So the time is 3 p.m. That means 38 hours, 100 k done, with a lot of mishaps and learnings. <laughs> But we did it! Yay! Happy. very happy very happy yeah uh, and i guess with these learnings this year we could definitely do it in a much better time next time yes this is first time 100k trail for me before this 60k is my below distance and that too were through events so this is something which is completely self supported yes, yes 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 no aid stations nothing but uh, our plan was to do is this under 24 hours बट एक और टीम मेट की तबीयत ख़राब हुई और जिसकी वजह से कुछ टाइम अप एंड डाउन हुआ बट हम खुश है कि हमने कम्प्लीट किया विदाउट इंजरी विदाउट एक्यूट माउंटेन सिकनेस एंड इंजॉय करते हुए कम्प्लीट किया ये इम्पॉर्टेंट है नेक्स्ट टाइम विल ट्राई टू डू इन टारगेट टाइम ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स टाइम आई एम सो हैप्पी एंड बैकग्राउंड यू कैन सी कोर्स वर्क So I'm glad, glad that uh, was able to do this. Was able to finish this actually. We just have two kilometers left. Now last year I did the same hike, Pang to Chomoriri. That was with a backpack, with a 30 liter backpack. This time it is a 15 liter backpack. And last year actually, me and Shashmat we were able to pull it off in 40 hours. This time, <laughs> even with the prior trail experience and a smaller bag, we 
took 38 hours but it is still not bad at all there were so many factors that counted in uh, which actually the, the time kept adding because of all these factors number one was uh, navigation so at night it became little difficult before Thila Kongla and I took a wrong route which costed the whole team another hour where we would have easily covered some four to five kilometers second thing was uh, the decision that as a team we were not able to take that we should have sent Sumit back after 15 kilometers we were dragging our teammate for 12 hours and uh, that drastically reduced our pace and therefore in the first 12 hours we were just able to do 42 kilometers uh, when we left him on the trail uh, I gave him my phone again a mistake was that neither Arun and nor Sumit had uh, the map of Ladakh installed in open street maps so I was the only one who actually had a trail now for Sumit's safety I have to give my phone to Sumit so that we are 100% assured that this guy will make it back easily to Karzok even if it takes two days that should be fine but the thing that I forgot was that uh, when we reach the 76th kilometer mark it would be super difficult to cross uh, Fitzsefu river because if I have a trail I exactly know that last year when I mapped the trail from where did I cross the river and at night just with a head torch it is super super difficult and impossible that is why we had to stop sleep in the cave for some time and then since our body lost some motion we just got succumbed to the whole cold and the stop from three hours extended to six hours and then it extended to nine hours and we were just waiting for the sun to come so that we could say, see a safe passage so if we could just had our phone one phone with map in it we could have saved at least at least out of nine at least five hours when we were at Fitzsefu we thought that we'll get water early morning it's most of mud that comes into the river and same, same is the situation uh, late evenings so during the daytime the river is quite clean so we were out of water 5 p.m. was the last time when we had a sip of water and then now here at around 1 p.m. which which was definitely taking a toll and further reducing our pace I saw that few water springs have gone in September so next time if I do it in September I know that how much water I need to carry this time it was just a 500 ml uh, uh, soft flask next time it will be a mandatory two flasks per head filled all the time if you add all these points these are few mistakes silly mistakes then there are very big amazing learnings out of this trail and since it was our first attempt we are still happy that we are making safe and sound in one piece no injury just a little bit of rashes which should be which should be fine by tomorrow morning so yeah happy happy contented not happy with the time but i guess uh, next year we'll do it again we'll do it under 24 hours the mountains are not going anywhere and it is just another uh, you know reason to keep coming back to chomaruri <laughs> every single year yeah but yeah amazing company loved the enthusiasm and confidence that Arun had and I think we were a great team we definitely are missing Sumit Milind is waiting for us right there so let's wind it up quickly the next two kilometers time is 3.15 we should be there by 4 38 hours 45 minutes for uh, this 102 kilometer long trail run come speed hike <sighs> let's find Milind good food so finally we see Milind <laughs> Yeah. He was doing Pang to Chomaradi solo. So guys, 20th of September, we finished our run or speed hike yesterday and we expected that Sumit will take good amount of time to come. Nobody is smoking inside, this is just uh, <laughs> an instinct. We are in a truck right now, we got a lift from Karzok, we came to the Manali Leh Highway in a taxi and then we got a lift till Sarchu. Over to Sumit now because he is the highlight of the whole trip because he did the last 60 kilometers all by himself and he was also suffering from acute mountain sickness. So how was it for you? <laughs> it was a great learning. <clears throat> Day one I got AMS in the starting of the speed hike but I was ignoring it because uh, we all human have a habit to take the challenge. Manav told continuously to uh, drop and return back but I continued till 40 km. I had a good food given by shepherds, uh, dal and rice and masala tea, Ladakh masala tea <laughs> and milk tea and I rested there a whole night and morning 7 o'clock sharp I started and uh, before leaving on the day one Manav told 60 km is doable you can do it and he gave his mobile uh, in which uh, trail mark trails were marked in OSM app and he uh, he went without his phone he struggled he later on he told me uh, his mobile was very much helpful so I was walking very consciously 
uh, whenever I was taking a break for having energy drink or having some food, I was not wasting my time. And yesterday I was feeling much better because slowly, gradually I was coming down from the height and I was drinking more water. Though I had just one and a half sneaker, one apple and some energy drink for the whole 60 km. But I used it very consciously. And I reached Karzok at 9.30 <laughs> and these guys told whole Karzok village that our one friend is coming uh, in all the hotels. If he will come, send him to Goose Homestead. Hostel. Yeah. So guys, 9.36. Look who's here. Jule, Jule, Jule Lal. अगर तू नहीं बोलता कि 60 किलोमीटर कर सकते हैं एक दिन में तो मैं नहीं करता मोबाइल नहीं देता तो मैं नहीं कर पाता भाई धन्यवाद नो प्रॉब्लम धन्यवाद तूने किया भाई हम तो चलो हो गया असली दान असली दान सो दैट वाज द एक्सपीरियंस ग्रेट लर्निंग दैट वी अंडरएस्टिमेटेड दिस 100 किलोमीटर ट्रेल रन वी डिडंट acclimatize properly that was the reason i got ams and uh, it is doable in 24 hours next year we will attempt in a much more prepared way thank you guys <laughs> signing off dialogue log bana raha hu bhai sach mein kisi mazak kar raha hu video dalna padega bhai so guys this is all i had from this uh, beautiful 100 km trail run in the indian himalayas that we were able to do in a self supported self navigated style really happy about it now i also want to emphasize on the fact that there is a lot of planning and preparation that goes behind such runs it is not that we just you know decide one day and we just go out and run 100 kilometers that's not the case so me sumit and arun we were in contact 3 months prior to the run and we were focusing on all the important aspects that we need to focus upon in order to finish this run without any injury and without compromising on our safety we were constantly thinking what could be the best season to do the trek we were also keeping an eye on the weather we were also making sure that every individual is responsible for their own acclimatization further we were also constantly figuring out ways through which we could keep the weight of the backpack to a minimal but making sure that every important equipment that we need stays inside the bag whatever nutrition we had on the trail we were also consuming the same nutrition during our training sessions so there were these many things that we were focusing upon we were definitely working on our cardiovascular muscular as well as uh, mental strength in order to you know run on these desolate no man's land kind of landscapes we were constantly thinking what all injuries can you know we can get into so we were constantly focusing on ankle strengthening and strength workout and strength workouts if you want to pick something like this make sure that your mind and body is equal equally trained to pull such things off if you're somebody who resonates with this idea of hiking all by yourself and running all by yourself then i've also come up with a week long field course on speed hiking which basically covers all the important aspects that i just discussed the course is uh, called the ultimate uh, speed hiking course and uh, in this week long field course we cover every single aspect that will help you become an efficient trekker and be able to enjoy the himalayan uh, landscape without compromising on your safety i'll drop the link to the web page that contains all the details related to the course in the video description below and i would request you to please spend some time on the page and try and understand what all speed hiking and trail running means further you can also share it with somebody who you think resonates with the idea of independent trekking and hiking so this is all i had for this one i think i'll definitely attempt pang to somori the next year uh, based on the learnings that i had this year and i'll be i'll be uh, much more prepared so feel free to join me but definitely in order to join on that project you'll have to be super super fit and you have to invest a good amount of time and energy so thank you so much for all your time love and support if you have any queries then drop them in the comment sections below and i promise you a prompt reply thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one